All right, welcome back to another video for our Candy Crush uh, simulator. We are going to create a custom button on this application that will be able to have some values such as row and column, and we'll be able to program our game a little easier. So let's, uh, let's go into the Candy Crush uh, project here and choose Add a New Item. I'm going to name it as a class, and let's call this thing uh, My Button. So My Button will have a few extra features that a regular button does not. So my button is first of all going to uh, extend the properties of a button. So we're going to take a regular button and then add some new things to it. So you can see that to, in order to use button in here we have to choose potential fixes and it looks like we need to use Windows Forms as a system include. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create an array called My Colors. It's of type color. So color has to come from some library. So let's go to Show Potential Fixes, and we will use System Drawing. So next, I want to add some extra elements to this list. So let's uh, put in color dot, and let's uh, pick a few. So I'm going to pick like navy. I like navy. All right, so I've uh, created a, an array of six colors, and I just chose a variety. The next thing I'm going to do is assign a random color to each button. So you can see that I'm using a, a random generator. I'm going to define a variable called button size, and I'm going to arbitrarily pick 25 pixels for the size of each button. Next, each column and row value will be set for the buttons. So this will tell us which um, position they are located in. So it's time to create a constructor for our button. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a triple assignment. I'm going to say that the width of the button equals the height of the button, which also is set to the button size. So that's a little bit odd, but you can set three values to each other like this. Next, I want to set an initial color for this button. So I'll use the random number generator. We'll get a new random number. And I want to make sure that we only select from the six different colors that are, uh, that are listed above. So I'm going to use the mod operator, and that will give us uh, only uh, 0 through 5 for numbers. So since I have a number from 0 to 5, I can take that number from my array called my colors, and I will set that value to my background color. So that finishes up our custom button. So our custom button will have several properties. It'll have a color, a background color, and then it'll have a row and a column number. Now there's one last change I'd like to make to the app is uh, I want to make this list of colors here correspond to the list of colors that I've selected over here. So let's just make sure that we have the same number of items here as well as the same items in the color list. So let's double check. I have red here for the first color and so let's make sure that we have a red in the list. So the second color is going to match the second button. So this guy is called blue, and my next one is called blue. Let's keep going. All right, I think I did it right, so just double checking. I have red, blue, yellow, black, white, gray, uh, gray, gold, and fuchsia. So it looks like I have eight colors on my list, and they match with the colors that I've selected for my controls. So that will make uh, the game work better. So let's move on and create the board in the next video. 